Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, guys. Welcome. Uh, and thanks you for all? your patience. <laughs> <laughs> we had some technical difficulties here, guys. Uh, it was my fault. I, uh, I take ownership. But um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I see a very good comment in chat. NRT says, I blame Eric. Oh, so that's do we. fine. That's He's not here, Eric, but still, it's Eric's fault. I'm always good with that. <laughs> also, my camera has a little bit of focus issues today. I don't know why. But let's also blame Eric for that one. Let's blame Eric. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today, we have a very exciting product uh, to show you and a very exciting game. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think uh, we should get into it. Uh, already a question from Lenny. Are you guys only live on here? Uh, that's a question from TikTok. Uh, no, we are live on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. Uh, Facebook. Facebook. And TikTok. Anywhere we can. Um, so yeah, and TikTok. Uh, TikTok is our most recent addition, so yeah, we are live. Um, so yeah, guys, um, the first QD OLED monitor, well, it's not the first, but it's the first from MSI. So a uh, very exciting product. You may have seen it already a little bit in some reviews. Um, there's a lot of controversy about OLED. Uh, so we're gonna talk about all that today. Uh, we also have some giveaways today, which uh, you can uh, participate in uh, when you go to msi.com slash two slash insider, or uh, the bot on YouTube and Twitch will also spam the link for the, for the Gleam giveaway. And Michiel will draw some random winners during the stream. So uh, yeah, uh, feel free to, uh, to participate in that as well. The prize today is a stream, uh, Steam uh, credit. So, uh, Mr. Mestadoc says in the Twitch chat, Mike moves it closer to him so he can grab it and run. <laughs> but it, it's kind of big, so it's hard to run fast with this monitor. <laughs> That's one common theme that we have with this uh, with this monitor. Everybody's saying like, "Hey, there's my desk. You know, if you wanna, <laughs> if, you, if you're done with it, uh, feel free to leave it there." Uh, so it seems to be a very popular product, uh, and I can see why. It's uh, it's quite amazing if you look at it. So um, yeah. Uh, I guess let's get into uh, to the content. We have a little bit of a uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation for you first to talk about specs and to talk about uh, the technology behind it a little bit. Uh, and then uh, to later today, we'll also be playing some games. Um, not so only you, right? Not only me, no, we have a special guest even today. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, she will join later. So uh, you'll just have to wait for that. Um, yeah, so um, a little bit about the history of our monitors first. Um, we started in 2016 um, with the curved monitors. Uh, you might already know that. Uh, but uh, only three years later, in 2019, we already sold our first 1 million pieces. Uh, two years later than that, uh, and some innovations later, like flat monitors as well. Um, we also moved uh, uh, 3 million monitors uh, by that time. So it's, uh, yeah, it's safe to say we're not a small player in the monitor market anymore. Um, yeah, and, and we had some innovations, and now the newest innovation, obviously, uh, being OLED. Um, it's a new segment for us. This is our very, fir very first uh, OLED monitor that we release. So we're, uh, we're very proud of it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think, I think it's a really cool product. Uh, let's continue. Um, so why would you want an OLED monitor? Well, um, uh, first, uh, there's been some research uh, from our side uh, which I, I, can't, I can't show you the graphs of it, but basically uh, there is an independent researcher that uh, does research on the market um, and it shows that uh, OLED is a growing market, so uh, we're, uh, we're gaining, I think, year on year almost 2% in, uh, in, in market share for OLED uh, in, general, in general, just not specifically MSI, but in general. Um, so yeah, it's... It's, uh, it's, it's also something, something you can see on... on well, smartphones for a long time already, but also yeah. TVs as of a little bit more recently. Yeah. That, yeah, the, the market segment for OLED has also been increasing quite a lot for TVs over the past couple of years. Oh, definitely, huh. yeah. Uh, it's, it's very popular. And uh, yeah, gaming monitors can be left behind, obviously. Uh, and yeah, we, we expect it to be a lot bigger. So um, uh, yeah, that's why uh, we started investing in OLED as well. Um, specifically in 34 inch ultra wide. Uh, we can see the pro uh, in the projections and, 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 uh, and the research that um, this is the uh, segment or the, the, the size that will uh, have the most demand, so um, uh, is most popular. So that's why we, uh, where we invest. I see an early question on YouTube from Simone Fiorini. 
Sounds okay. Italian. <laughs> um, hi. Well, hi to you as well, Simone. Uh, and he's asking, is it a Samsung panel? Yes. The answer to that it is yes. Sure it's, is. it's a Samsung QD panel, specifically. QD OLED panel. Yeah. Uh, Arizona says on YouTube, just say it looks cool. No need for marketing talk. Okay, it looks cool. It looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> Micho, coolest monitor. And, and now Ralph Please is continuing buy. with the marketing talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> and now we continue with the marketing talk. Um, yeah, so yeah, like, like I mentioned, a lot of research done uh, uh, before we decided to make uh, or to, to release a monitor um, with these specific specs. Um, it can also be used for, for not only gaming, but also entertainment very well, uh, like you already used to from the OLED TVs and general productivity. So um, uh, for work or whatever, because it's, it's obviously it's ultra wide, so it's very nice even for music producers or for you know, wh whoever uh, is in the market for for an ultra wide. It's uh, it's very cool. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's uh, it's good for general productivity as well. Um, so um, why would you buy an OLED from MSI? Is the next question I uh, presume. Uh, well, to talk about that first, we need to look at um, a little bit of our branding and philosophy behind it. Uh, I think we, we mentioned uh, these brands or these uh, segments before, uh, but for monitors, um, I don't think we've explained it into too much detail. Um, so MEG, uh, MPG and MAG, you see on the left side, MEG being the highest segment and MAG being the lowest, MPG being in the middle of that basically means MEG has the most features that you could want on a monitor. So besides that it's OLED, it also has uh, the best MSI features that we can offer uh, on this specific model. And uh, it also won an innovation award on, uh, on CES even. Um, so yeah, it, it has some quite nice features. Um, the uh, branding in, from MEG, uh, so the gold details and the black, uh, it is well thought of. So um, this is kind of a mood board that you see from uh, from HQ. Um, there's a lot of designers that went, you know, in, to great lengths to come up with a uh, concept for this, and it, it has to. Be, it, we we ended up at mythical, elegant, and organic. Uh, so uh, you can see all those things back a little bit. Uh, the mythical, especially with the runes and stuff in in the design, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so so the, the the nice lines and and the runic. Uh, the runic design and uh, the triangles you can really see back in the design and uh, so yeah that's a little bit of, of the philosophy behind behind the branding from MSI side. Um, next uh, let's talk a bit about the technology behind the panel uh, we've done a stream on this before, uh, before already if you want to go really really deep into the details feel free to, uh, to check that out but uh, in the meantime, uh, I'll do a quick rundown. Uh, so basically, um, the differences between QD OLED, which is this monitor, and traditional OLED, which is also called W OLED and LCD, is that um, they all need uh, multiple layers to, uh, to display your content, and they go through color filters. Um, uh, for example, white OLED starts out with, uh, with, with white, uh, LCD even starts out with a phosphoric layer that needs to be transferred then from yellow to white with a filter. And then, uh, uh, yeah, there's, there's even more color filters behind that late in the, later in the process. So uh, the, the cool, cool thing about QD OLED here is that uh, it, 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 it admits blue light uh, from the beginning, so not white. And uh, the QD layer, so the quantum dot layer, is uh, is a layer that gets layer that gets excited by the blue light and reignites or readmits the light, basically. Um, so there's no need for extra switches, or uh, and that's also why it's very fast monitor. There's no delay. You don't have to wait for any filters or layers or uh, stuff like that to uh, to switch. <coughs> so uh, hence the uh, 0 0.1 millisecond delay on it as well. Um, See a question in chat from JK on YouTube. Does MSI have extra warranty for possible burning? Yes, <coughs> we do. Um, the warranty as of right now uh, stands on uh, three years, including burn-in. So that's the... Uh, uh, we, we try to match the competitors there as much as possible uh, across the spectrum. So, um, yeah, you won't get less than any, any other uh, brand. 
So and continue another question regarding burn-in, by the way. Um, oh. NRT is asking on Twitch chat, is there a pixel shift for burn-in reduction? Yes. We'll get to that later on in the, in the presentation as well. Yeah, there's, there's more than just pixel shift. Yeah, there's there more than just pixel shift. So uh, we are addressing features. the burn-in oh. issues um, later on in the, in the presentation. Uh, so please stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, we will get to that. Definitely, because we know it's a subject, so uh, <laughs> we're not going to ignore it, obviously. Um, so yeah, True Black, uh, obviously uh, OLED being a panel that uh, has the LEDs uh, uh, actually off when black is being displayed, or mostly uh, when True Black is displayed, um, being uh, having very nice contrast in that matter. Um, it's all separate LEDs, and, and like I said, there's no filters, so there's no backlight bleeding and stuff like that. Uh, so the contrast on on uh, on this is very high. So also Vesa awarded us with the uh, with the HDR uh, True Black certification, um, which means that uh, you know it 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 fulfills the uh, the needs to have this first certification. So it's a, it's a very nice feature to have. And the contrast is really the cool thing of OLED that yes. stands it apart from, from LCD because there you basically have illumination for the whole screen. Yeah. Um, and you can basically close off that illumination to a certain extent to, to display black, basically, what you do. Yeah. Um, but in OLED, it's like each individual pixel can basically switch itself off. So it's not emitting any light. So black is really black. Yeah. And um, it for LCD, it depends a bit per um, uh, type of panel how big the contrast will be. So for example, TN, but also IPS are a little bit weaker in terms of contrast. VA is a little bit stronger traditionally, but OLED is even well beyond what, what VA can do because it can really disable the pixel basically, and then it's pitch black. It's not like, like what you can see on an LCD screen. Yeah. Yeah like, I, yeah, like I mentioned before, but if you want more detail about the specific technology behind monitors and which is, which is strong in, in what segment, then uh, please check our uh, previous uh, monitor stream. We've had an uh, uh, extensive stream about technologies and, and the new technologies and the differences between OLED and, uh, and LCD. Yeah, it's together with Ruud. So uh, he explained into fine detail uh, what the actual difference is. But I think a lot of people already know it by now. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Michiel, for that uh, um, extra information. Um, so yeah, it's it's true black 400 guys. So uh, uh, that's the certification. So it's not the normal 400. It's the true black version. Yeah. So not HDR. There's a, there's a it can be confusing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, moving on. Uh, yeah, like I already mentioned a little bit, it's faster than ever. So uh, basically, because uh, OLED doesn't have to wait for uh, filters to to sw or switches to uh, to switch to have the colors and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it, it gets really fast, so up to uh, uh, 0 0.1 millisecond gray to gray and 175 hertz, which is also why we have the clear motion uh, certification 9000. I think a lot of gaming monitors actually uh, make this certification, but what this, what this means is um, you don't get any natural motion blur from your monitor itself, uh, so the image will be a lot clearer, especially during fast pace uh, movements. And uh, yeah, in, in older monitors, you you might see even motion blur uh, just because of the technology of the screen. Uh, in this case, so even if you uh, disable motion blur, you still get motion you blur still because get motion your blur, monitor yeah. is too slow, basically. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's a, it's a nice certification to uh, to add on to it as well. Um, I see some questions about the resolution. This monitor is uh, 1440p ultra wide resolution, guys and 175 hertz, like mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. So Horizon is, is mentioning the correct resolution on, uh, yes. on YouTube chat. It's 3440 times 1440. 3440 yeah. times 1440p. Completely correct. Um, so uh, one thing OLED is very good at also is obviously colors. So you can see here the rates of the, the color display are, uh, are scoring much higher than conventional LCD. Um, so yeah, also for, for video editing and for photo editing and stuff like that, it's, uh, it's very nice. And uh, uh, it uh, goes up to 99.3% or 99 .3 even for uh, DCI P3. So that's uh, it's very high. Um, of course, we have uh, the less blue light technology, which is very nice to have as well if you uh, game for long hours and if you have the uh, long working days, for even for general productivity, it's very nice. Then uh, you can use this. 
uh, and it's basically less eye strain. Uh, also a little bit of a different version here because of the, the blue re-emitting light. Um, it makes it look more natural and not as yellow as normal traditional OLED. So um, very cool technology here for QD OLED specifically as well. I see a question from Edwin K. Um, is it 8-bit or 10-bit? It's 10-bit. When is the release date? <laughs> it's already released. Yes. Depending on your region, it should also already be on uh, for yeah, sale. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. Like, uh, if you're interested in buying it, always best to check with your local reseller. Yeah. They should be able to give you a better view of when it should be available at that specific place. Uh, because it indeed it differs per region uh, how long the shipment takes so yep. availability differs a bit yeah so uh, looking at the connectivity uh, i think i'm just going to show you uh if i had the mobile phone here just one second guys <laughs> so you should be able to switch now oh we're upside down i'm upside getting down? seasick oh. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is the back of the monitor. Uh, as you can see here, I have it right here on the desk. Uh, there's some clear uh, notifications on the connectivity as well. But uh, uh, this is the bottom version. So you have uh, two times HDMI, HDMI 2.1. Um, it's one uh, that's right here. There's USB B, which is for the uplink, so for uh, stuff like a gaming intelligence app, more information on that later. Uh, but this is also to do firmware updates and stuff like that. Uh, and then there's a USB C, which also has power delivery up to 65 watts. Also, more on that later because we will show you uh, that it actually works with power delivery as well. Um, then the display port, which is 1.4a. Uh, and two times HDMI 2.1, like I already mentioned right here. And then on the side, we have another bunch of connections. Oh, I'm, I'm missing the audio combo port. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so audio combo port here. And here, there's a separated audio port. So ha headphone and a microphone, uh, a microphone in, a headphone out. And then two more USBs, uh, which is two times 3.2 Gen 1. Yeah. So, yeah. so type A, 5 gigabit per second. Yes. So there's that. Um, and then I think uh, we'll, we'll uh, put it together real quick before we move on to the, to the next feature. Um, so yeah, this is how it comes outside of the box. I already showed you the panel. I might get my dirty fingers on it now, but uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't roast me for that. And well, it's getting, getting cozy, Rob. <laughs> Wait, I can move Ooh, myself. Yes. Look, yes. now I'm smaller. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that works. <laughs> it's a mini-me. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's the stand. It has this, uh, maybe you can show on the close-up. I definitely, oh, now I'm blocking it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so the stand, which uh, clicks in very easily. You can also see the holes here uh, for better cable management, which is very nice. And it goes all the way to the back, uh, to the bottom. Uh, you can see right through that as you can see. So that's a very nice additional feature. And it's quite sturdy. And as you can see, it is uh, tilt and height adjustable. Uh, so yeah, you'll, uh, you'll be able to see that later on as well. Switch back to main. Yeah. So it's uh, just as easy as click it in, put it down. And now we have some screws to turn in. So if you have questions in the chat, now's the time to ask, because I'll be doing screws in the meanwhile, in the meantime. Or maybe... I see a question in chat. Uh, Fadi Diab is asking, is the VESA standard 100 times 100 millimeters? Yes. Yeah. That is correct. So yeah, you can also put it on... Uh, uh, but Ralph, I guess what you wanted to say, maybe it's a good time for a giveaway while you... Yes, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, I was looking I at the I had this feeling. Here. You know, hint, hint. Uh, so Michiel will pull in some winners. Yeah. Um, so the giveaway is still live. We'll be live after this one as well. Uh, you'll still be ha having a chance to win. Um, for you to do that, uh, you need to go to uh, this link. So msi.com slash two slash insider um, or follow the link that gets spammed by the bot. Uh, do we still have the screwdriver here, Michiel, somewhere? Should be. <laughs> hmm. Did you lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> Let me check, guys. 
Well, luckily, in the meanwhile, I have our first winner for the Steam Wallet Code giveaway, and that is Naini. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, um, but you won our first uh, code of today. So please keep an eye out on your mailbox, then we will email you the code in the coming days with some instructions on how to redeem it, and congratulations with your code. So, Ralph, did you already find the screwdriver? No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where it went. I was, it, was just, it was just here. Oh, here it is. Found it. Sorry, guys. I had it ready, but more uh, technical difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll screw it together. And there's a very nice cover for this as well to uh, make sure you don't see all the all the metal in the back. But yeah, like I said, we can also uh, mount this to to a wall or on your PC setup with the VESA mount, so it's very nice as well. <laughs> so one champ asking, where are these gents? Yes, we are indeed in the Netherlands, Monk Radio. We are in the Netherlands, yeah. Can you tell <laughs> by my accent? <laughs> Horizon says in the YouTube chat, Eric still sabotaging the stream, even hit the screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a running meme, guys. Eric is always destroying just, stuff. Just blame Eric for everything that goes wrong. <laughs> but usually he is the one to blame, so it didn't come out of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like I mentioned, there's a nice, uh, nice little cover. Uh, that goes over the monitor and you just click it on so you just clicks in like that and then you won't be able to see the screws anymore so it's a nice finish and then like always we also have a big foot and it's a uh, screwless design so uh, basically you can just do it by hand you don't need a screwdriver for that although if you want to you can also use a screwdriver, obviously. Absence of logic says easier to find a lost screwdriver than a lost screw. That's definitely true. That's what our <laughs> previous colleague Jao always lost, screws. And we have like a dark gray carpet floor in here. And if you drop a screw in there, yes, it's gone forever. It's gone. Yeah. It's like a Bermuda's Triangle <laughs> Oh, it's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. You'll never find it again. Right. Um, there's also a back cover to cover up the cables. Uh, I will show you that in a sec, but first we need to connect it because we're actually going to play on it later. So uh, as you might have already seen in the background, we have a very cool game that we can showcase today. But yeah, this is the, the beast. Like I said, it's uh, height and tilt adjustable. Ralph, did yep. you have a hamburger for lunch? I can also already see your fingerprints on top. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have a hamburger, but... Uh, in the middle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, here, yeah, here. there you go. <laughs> uh, we have a cloth for that, but uh, I'll probably, it's probably wise to, to save that. Do, for a do bit. that later, when there are like yes, 10 or exactly. 20 fingerprints <laughs> on there. So, yeah, I'll start connecting uh, the stuff. I have a PC ready here below. Uh, and then I'll just, uh, like the ports I showed you just before, I'll just uh, put all the USBs in. Because this specific model supports a very cool feature that we've had before and I don't know if you guys can guess it but I'm curious we'll, we'll talk about it later a little bit more but uh, who knows action brother is asking is it a glossy finish yes uh, no the, well, the panel itself it is it, it's a bit in between it's not as matte as what you would see on most LCD panels but it's also not the very glossy one you see on certain notebooks for example so it's it, yeah it's, it's a little bit in the middle, I would say. But there is like um, uh, a certain finish on it to make it less glossy. But don't expect like the se how matte an LCD panel is. Yeah, yeah with a, specifically with a high resolution panel, you don't really, well, it depends on, on your situation, but you don't really want uh, a panel that's too... That you don't want it to be too grainy. Exactly, because uh, like if yeah. you have the finish that's really matte, then you you could get a little bit of grain in your uh, in your view, and that's also not the best experience. So specifically for OLED, I think they chose uh, the more glossy version of it. But like, it's not not super glossy. Not like no, no, it's not that bad. Notebooks. It looks we worse on stream like than it really is. We used to have notebooks in the in the past that like had a really glossy panel mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's not it's not like that it's not extremely glossy that you can basically use it as a mirror to to do your hair and stuff <laughs> <laughs> so well, almost that, that would be difficult for ralph anyway but <laughs> yeah 
We're almost done here. Just have to connect a mouse. We have a question from Linkso. Uh, does it have a G-Sync processor chip inside the monitor? It does not. No, it is um, G-Sync compatible, I believe, right? Uh, is it certified? FreeSync. I'm not sure. Actually. Yeah, it's, uh, it's FreeSync like Premium. It, has, it it mentions, but uh, yeah. So it should be compatible, but yes. Yeah, so it's a FreeSync monitor, and you can enable that with G-Sync as well because yeah. it's like a VESA standard for for a variable refresh rate. Um, but I'm not sure if it's officially certified. If it is G-Sync compatible, which you can definitely enable it in your in your NVIDIA settings as well. But it's officially a FreeSync one. So I'm trying to cable manage this in the meantime as well to show you how clean it looks when you have it all connected. Because that's one of the problems that you get when you uh, plug a lot of stuff into your monitor. You know, you get a lot of cables. But luckily... Uh, Ladios, I see your question, but it's difficult for me to answer because it's a region-specific thing. I don't know the details. Make sure to to really follow the, the correct steps and otherwise it's, it's best to... Um, to contact customer support in Germany, they should be able to to provide you with an answer there. But because it's a region-specific thing, it's a, it's a difficult thing for me to, to answer. What was the question? No, it was about a cashback promotion in Ger but it's specifically in Germany. So right. I don't okay. Know yeah, that's uh, exactly very hard for us to answer. Yeah. Also, because we're not taking care of those cashbacks. We're ourselves. not responsible for the region, so we have no idea what cashbacks yeah. are going on in that region. Best to check with uh, with our German colleagues for that. Yes. Right. So I think we're almost there. Uh, yep. And then one thing I'm missing for later, and I think already. Tudor, it is. It, it is a FreeSync monitor. It is. Yes. But no G-Sync chip built in. If that's the question. Right. There we go. Here you can slightly see the, the finish a bit. So you see it's it's not super glossy, but it's also not super matte. So you can actually see slight reflection. Yeah, it always looks worse on camera than this. We also have very, very bright lights on here in the studio. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not really a good res representation, but you will also see that with the RGB later. It's really hard to show uh, with all the bright lights. You can see it from my forehead, how bright the lights are here. Or I'm just very, very bald. Mr. Master uh, is asking, are there even gaming monitors without FreeSync? Not that many anymore. It, it kind of became the standard to, to uh, include like the, the VESA standard for variable refresh rate. Yep. So FreeSync is, at least on gaming monitors, uh, becoming more and more common. Not on all monitors, but gaming monitors, yes. So Especially the, the higher refresh rate models are generally come with, with FreeSync nowadays. So let's put this baby on. Is it going on? Oh, Jesus, I have really, really fatty fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Did you push the button? On. Ah, now I see a small LED. There you go. There we go, yeah. Ooh, and you won't be able to see the green because we have a, <laughs> a green screen. So that's why you see the weird thing here. <laughs> yeah, that's where it's green indeed. Yeah, that's green. <laughs> <laughs> or that's green where green's supposed to be. Um, so yeah, um, so that's the monitor in all its glory. Let me set it up so you can all see it properly. Uh, Setsun's got a question about the giveaway. Um, yeah, for some reason, uh, for some people, uh, the link doesn't show up on the, the Insider page, but you're watching on Twitch, and once every five minutes, our bot will actually put a direct link to Gleam uh, in the chat. So if you follow that one, you should be fine. Yep. Right. Um, so the first thing to show you is, uh, I think you might have already noticed, is this uh, cool feature here, which is Spectrum Bar. And uh, um, it basically uh, projects light on your desk and a little bit to the front, but it's not, uh, it's not like it so bright that it's annoying for your eyes. You can turn this off and on, and there's different features on this. One of them being uh, uh, Mystic Light Sync, obviously, which is uh, our standard uh, feature uh, that syncs with all the hardware from MSI that has also all has Mystic Light Sync. And then there's Glow Sync, which I will show you, but first I need to launch 
the app. Got a question from uh, Tudor in between. It says, oh, tankless keyboard, what model and what switches? Uh, this is a GK50 um, Elite low profile and then a TKL version with the KL Chuck White switches. So they're yep. low profile clicky switches. Yep. It's a very nice keyboard, guys, buy it. Um, GK50 so, uh, low profile. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice keyboard. It is actually nice. We all use it in the office. Um, so yeah, um, like I already mentioned, uh, there's the uh, USB B port, uh, um, which launches you uh, directly into the uh, Gaming Intelligence app. Well, not the USB doesn't do it, but uh, uh, the Gaming Intelligence app is usable with the USB port. And you can just use your mouse and keyboard for that. More on that later, but first I will show you the Spectrum Bar features. Uh, you can put it on, uh, maybe show the screen capture. Oh yeah, there you go. So you can put it on Mystic Light or Glow Sync, or you can just turn it off if it's annoying to you. Uh, Mystic Light is where it is on now, uh, but I'll show you that it actually syncs. So if you want to sync Mystic Light, obviously the best app for that with all your other hardware is MSI Center. So give it a second to, uh, to load. My features, and then it should be here somewhere. Am I? Am I? Oh, I was on it already. Never mind. So as you can see, it sees the monitor here as well, uh, and it should sync right now. So if I put it on uh, sequence and apply it, then it should also work. Oh, I just pulled the keyboard out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I might have to do that again. That one is probably not syncing anymore. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that probably. Yeah. So there's the keyboard. So we link it, we apply it again. Now don't unplug anything. <laughs> Nafal says blue switches is what it sounds like. Yeah, because they're clicky switches. But in the, in the kill low profile ones, um, they're actually white of color. Uh, same goes for kill box, for example, that we have in a high profile version. They're, they're white, but they're still clicky. Um, but yeah, from, for example, cherry there, you will probably know it from the blue ones um, or clicky there. Yeah. Who says they have silent switches as well? No, no. At this point, we don't have like a very silent option for that one. And Especially this one, you will hear <laughs> because it's clicking. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, all the software is now blinking. It's a Mystic Light feature, and I can just put it back to rainbow. Uh, but yeah, like as you like, you see the spectrum bar also joins the uh, the Mystic Light array <laughs> of light that we have, and then. The second feature, which gets, uh, gets very interesting, is actually Glow Sync. So what Glow Sync is, is um, it basically projects all the light that is on, your ed on the edge of your display onto your desk uh, and to the bottom of the, of the spectrum bar. Um, so we have an app to showcase that. It is on Glow Sync currently. And we might have to turn the lights off for this a little bit, Michiel. I can totally arrange that. And then that. you'll see our green screen. Um, let me switch to this one. Yeah. There we go. So this is the lights off. This is the studio, guys. Welcome. And you can see here on the desk, it's black, so uh, it's, it doesn't show that great. But you can see here that, uh, especially on the desk, it there really changes colors as <laughs> ambient lighting. Hey, Michiel, welcome back. Hello. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it does that for any content, so even for your wallpaper, but also for uh, Netflix or you know uh, YouTube, whatever you want. It's so integrated in your monitor, so it's like a yeah, like a ambience lighting feature. Yeah, um, and here with this, now you can really see that that it's OLED because it's so black the background. Yes, and it's even <coughs> dim now because it's dark here. So there's an auto dimming feature on it as yeah. well, which I will show in a sec. Uh, yeah, let's put it back to Mystic Light because I like rainbows. And then you can see it really projects pretty hard on the desk, depending on how bright your content is. And this is the brightest. That keyboard is also going goes. bananas, by the way. The keyboard is really going crazy. <laughs> I don't know what setting this I is. Can, uh, I can turn it a little bit slower, I think. Oh, that's the color. Uh, oh, that's the brightness. Here, speed feature down. <laughs> there, that's better. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> 
So yeah, like uh, like I already mentioned, uh, very very nice extra uh, little immersive experience with uh, with Spectrum Bar. Um, and then I think next uh, we can uh, talk about the actual gaming intelligence app. Uh, so if you want to switch back to the PowerPoint. Yes. Yeah. And let oh, me give you a green screen back. Don't forget the there lights. There we yeah, go. There you go. We're back. Um, so gaming intelligence, you might have already been aware of, but uh, yeah, like you, like you can see, it's a very nice feature to control this monitor. Uh, it's actually an MCU chip baked into the motherboard of the monitor, uh, so it's an MSI exclusive as, uh, deal. Um, it also uh, gives you some extra features. Uh, here you can see the location of it. Uh, it's on the back. Uh, and one of the benefits for this is that you don't have to use you know, your fingers to uh, actually control the OSD. So all the OSD features will so be no controllable. So no more click, 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 click on the back of your monitor? Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you are like a big eSports guy or something and uh, you, you want to make sure that your monitor is always in the same position, then uh, yeah, this feature would be very nice because you don't have to like move your monitor all the time. Uh, and yeah, you know, who wants that anyway? Uh, so you can just do it with your mouse and keyboards. Um, a quick question in between. Divi is asking, is the monitor stand height adjustable? Yes. Yeah, it definitely the answer is. The is yes. And Action Brother is asking in Twitch chat, can the auto dim be turned off? Yes, it can. <laughs> <laughs> More on that in a sec. Uh, I'll actually show you. Uh, but yeah, um, so gaming intelligence, uh, we have a crosshair feature on that as well. Uh, you might have already seen it before, but I'll showcase it. Uh, we need to film it by hand because uh, or actually show the capture first. Yeah, so right now I'm turning on a crosshair and I can see the crosshair, but you can't. Uh, so if we switch to the camera, you should be able to see it. Uh, oh, we're upside down oh, again. Upside down again. Oh, see oh, sir. <laughs> so you can see the crosshair there. It also changes colors, as you can see, depending on the on the background. Yeah, so it basically always creates contrast, so you can always properly see it based exactly. on what color is behind exactly. it. Exactly. And then there's a second feature, and I put it on the most exaggerated large function. But there's also optic scope, which gives you a zoom in function. So if you want to make those no scopes, you know. This is a... Uh, well, is it's not really a no scope anymore if you <laughs> activate it. <laughs> Well, it's kind of hard scope, no scope, but uh, people in the game will see it as a no scope. <laughs> yeah, That's for them it will look like a no scope. Yeah, because if you uh, can you switch back to the uh, the capture again? Yes. There, you don't you don't see it. No. So yeah, um, very cool features there indeed, and that's all controllable by mouse and keyboard, and I can just turn them off like that, and that's it. I always call them cheat features, but Eric doesn't agree with cheat features. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is. Uh, but it, you can also just use it to practice, you know, or something like that. Um, yeah, so if you switch back to the camera, sorry, Michiel. Oh, yep. Yeah. Camera upside down? No. Mm. You can see in the front, there's three, well, there's two little dots, and in the middle, there's a sensor. Um, <laughs> Mr. Mastodox says because he uses them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably. Probably, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so the, um, the middle is a, a sensor, that's a light sensor. Uh, so it basically captures the, uh, uh, it's a capture for the dimming feature, so um, for the auto dimming. So uh, more on that later. But on the front, you also see the two little dots. Those are microphones. And uh, if you can switch back to the PowerPoint, Michiel. Yes. Those microphones <coughs> also have active noise cancelling now. So it's uh, with a feature that's also integrated in gaming intelligence, which is uh, sound tune. Um, so that, uh, that's also the reason why there's two mics, one, one to cancel out the noise and one to actually record the noise. Um, and uh, yeah, it does work. If you want to give a presentation at work or something uh, on your gaming monitor and you don't want to wear a headset, you know, stuff like that, it's very nice for. So yeah. The dimming feature. Uh, I think we can actually show this or should be able to show this. It's, it's very gradual, so it's not like instant dimming. Uh, but if I put my finger on the sensor, it should start dimming slowly. Yeah, you see it there. There, I think that's the most dim that it gets. And then if I take my finger away again, because we're in a bright studio, it starts ramping up again. Uh, so for OLED, this is actually a very nice feature because you know you don't want to always have your pixels blasting full full load um, on OLED because this will cause you know a faster burning rate. So 
yeah, for, for, for OLED, it's actually a very nice feature. You can actually turn it off if it annoys you. Um, very easy in the Gaming Intelligence app. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's, uh, you can just use it whenever you want. Uh, it, it also depends a bit on the situation that you're using it in. If you're using it like in a room with a window and you actually keep the, let the light come in, I know many gamers don't and they block all the light. Yeah. But if the light can go in, like during the day, it will go brighter. During the evening, it will automatically dim. And that way, by yeah. not indeed, like Ralph already uh, explained, if you don't have it at, at the high brightness all the time, yeah. that will um, reduce and how fast your screen will burn in, essentially. And I must say, <coughs> uh, we've always had it on here on this monitor, and it still looks great. It's not like some of these dimming features don't really, uh, I, I wouldn't, I haven't seen the MSI dimming feature that much, but uh, for this specific monitor, I know some dimming features are very poorly done, and you can really see instant changes. My television does it doesn't do it very gradually. Yeah, so it's like here you see dim. like it's very gradual. But yeah. my <laughs> on my television, if I switch it on, you really see it in like big steps. Yeah, that it becomes, so that's not great. Yeah, B because <laughs> the contrast here is so big in the studio with bright lights uh, to no lights. Because I put my finger on it, uh, you know, you can really see it, but normally you don't really notice it that it's doing it, and it's still you know. Merry Less Christmas, brightness. hey you get off my cloud. What's that, sorry? No, I said Merry Christmas back to hey you get off oh, my cloud. Merry, <laughs> Merry Christmas is always yeah. our, our Twitch uh, notification. Our Twitch, uh, notification. We yeah. never change it on purpose. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone is always happy around Christmas, right? Yes, usually they are. Well, you are for sure. We have a, Definitely. <laughs> we have a thing in the office where we put a uh, radio station on with only Christmas music. So for a full like December, like. Carrie, <laughs> then, uh, huh? Sorry. Like the whole of December, just Christmas music. Yes. Then uh, onto our one of our uh, last features that to demo here is KVM, and uh, that's where this cable is for. You, I, I already told you about the uh, USB-C feature. I will grab a notebook that I have ready for you guys. Um, so this is just a little notebook with uh, a USB-C charging. Um, the power delivery for 65 watts is more than enough to power a notebook. So I will demonstrate. So actually it, it also charges over that cable, yes, right? Yes, it no. does. <coughs> so no other chargers on this notebook. As you can oh, see, by the way, this screen is more glossy than... Yeah, this is way more glossy. This is what a glossy screen looks yeah. like. So yeah, compare it. It's you know, <laughs> it's quite a big difference. So let it boot a little bit, and then I can show you the KVM features as well, um, which is a very cool feature if you uh, work from home, for example. I mean, I miss it on my monitor. I have an ultra wide at home, and I don't have this feature, and I wish I had. Uh, I also missed a feature on my notebook to charge it off the USB C. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically, uh, so <coughs> this USB C does power delivery uh, to charge your notebook, for example, or your phone, or you know whatever you need. Um, and then uh, it also has a KB KVM feature, and KVM basically uh, is a USB hub kind of built into your monitor. Um, so it um, it basically allows you to put your mouse and keyboard into your monitor and use it on multiple computers. And, uh, but like the main difference is when you have like a regular hub, you connect it with the uplink to, to one system. Yes. But here with the KVM feature, it actually automatically switches all the USB devices through that same USB cable that you're now using to connect the notebook. So the keyboard and mouse will transfer to the other system as well. And that's what makes it different than, than a regular USB hub. Yeah. So to show you this, I can, uh, choose so I can say use uh, USB-C for KVM and this is the mouse that is connected with my monitor and as you can see on the notebook already I am currently using this mouse on my notebook so now you're charging the notebook of yes. the USB type C and you get the display signal over the USB type yes. C and you get all the USB connectivity of your input devices over the USB correct type -C. And then I can even go as far as, uh, oh, that's the wrong one, one second, uh, switching the display even to my notebook. I'll give it a sec. So now I'm controlling a different system entirely, and that's this notebook uh, on the same monitor with just a, a click. So that's actually very nice. And it's charging. 
and you know, it's just a, it's just a nice feature, man. I uh, I wish I had this. <laughs> like I said, if you work from home and if you like, if you play games at home, you just have this little USB cable lying around, and you just click it into your notebook, and you can start working. I have to plug over every every single thing, uh, my mouse, my keyboard, my headset, uh, Display Port cable, stuff like that. Here you just plug it all into your monitor and you switch. Oh, and now you just plug it into your all, uh, yeah, your monitor and you're done. You know, it's uh, actually very nice. I think what I would also plug in is an Ethernet adapter. If you have like a USB Ethernet adapter, you plug it into your monitor. That would be nice. Then you also get Ethernet connectivity through that USB Type-C cable. Yeah, and as you can see now, I'm back <coughs> in uh, in here. So uh, yeah, that's that. Then. The elephant in the room, guys. Burn-in. So, um, yeah, let's discuss burn-in a little bit. Uh, there's been some videos on burn-in, specifically from uh, RT, art, uh, ratings, art, art things on the YouTube channel with a very unrealistic uh, user scenario. <laughs> but uh, they basically try to get burn-in as fast as possible. On, uh, on specifically QD panels as well for TVs. Uh, please be aware that this is not uh, relatable to gaming monitors. They have some different uh, firmware and, and features that are updated from Samsung's side for this panel as well um, to combat burn-in. And uh, obviously from MSI side, we offer three years warranty with burn-in and uh, OLED care. Now OLED care has three different features which is uh, pixel shift, panel protect, and static screen detection. Pixel shift um, uh, is basically, uh, uh, around the monitor, there's a little edge of pixels uh, on, on the, the entire uh, entire surrounding of the monitor. So basically, uh, your, is your resolution is like a few pixels bigger than yes. the resolution you're pushing yes. to it. Correct. Yeah. Um, and that allows your full screen to shift pixels uh, within a certain parameter. And it does this, uh, depending on your setting, it does this every minute, two minutes, or three minutes. Um, and especially with gaming, it's barely noticeable, but this does uh, allow you to, to combat the uh, burn-in feature, or the burn-in uh, features, the burn-in a little bit, uh, the issues. Um, Panel Protect is also uh, a feature that we offer. Uh, so this basically uh, gives you a timer of four hours um, and then you have to do a, a pixel refresh which, ta which takes up to we have a short version and a long version the short version takes uh, like seven minutes or something depending on your panel um, it will also display <coughs> the time on there and um, you can also extend it up to 16 hours so if you so basically if you can delay it if you want to yeah, like so if you it comes a warning, at a very you can delay it yeah. and um, it's an inconvenient moment if it's, yeah if it's not a good <coughs> moment for you uh, but after 16 hours, it uh, does force you to do it um, because otherwise, you know, you're you're too susceptible to burn. And basically, you of course, don't want to do it as if you're in the middle of a nature movie. <laughs> exactly. And then there's also static screen detection, um, which you can turn off even. Uh, but this basically uh, dims specific regions of your monitor that are really bright. So if you uh, if you would have a Word document open in white, for example that is on its brighting settings, then it will automatically dim the pixels that are showcasing the white a little bit uh, to make sure that it, it doesn't burn in. Uh, so together with all these three features, uh, it's pretty safe to say, plus the warranty, uh, yeah, that, that, you know, we, we won't see too many burn-in issues in the future. Um, and of course, it also, it all depends on usage. Yes. Uh, I saw a comment in chat also. Panori Gray saying with current tech, you have to be really abusive to the screen. Yes. And uh, for example, I am really abusive to my uh, <laughs> smartphone screen because I'm on the road quite a lot driving yeah. in a very light environment and my OLED is constantly blasting Full my navigation brightness. software with a static user interface. Yeah. So that's like the, the worst possible scenario for an OLED. And, and yes, it causes burn-in to my screen. Um, but that's like a very specific abusive use case. Um, so you definitely can do something about it if you adjust your usage a bit. And if you use it cleverly, then uh, burn-in will be much less of, of an issue. And it also depends very much on, uh, on just how you use it. Do you always use it in a very bright environment? Are you using a lot of uh, static 
um, user interfaces or do you game a lot? Like if you're in games, for example, everything is moving all the time. So there burning won't be much of an issue, for example. Yeah. Yeah, so um, there's also for Panel Protect uh, a little extra feature. Uh, of course, we have the spectrum bar on the bottom. Uh, uh, I won't be able to do this now because I'll lose the monitor for about seven minutes. And I don't think you guys want to be waiting for me for seven minutes to play the, the game. But um, basically, the bottom bar shows you the progression because if you pixel refresh, your monitor goes off, obviously. Um, so you need to be able to see the progress somehow. And yeah, the, the panel is off, so it's the only way to show it. It's the far only it way is, to yeah. show it, yeah. <laughs> um, so the status indicator actually shows you, uh, uh, yeah, shows you the bottom bar, and it, it goes from 0 to 100, uh, from inside to outside, and uh, then you're done. So, um, yeah, also very nice add-on, just, uh, just thoughtful from, uh, from the design point of view. Um, Codane7800 is asking, sorry I'm late, how much in France for uh, the warranty for burning? It's three years of, of warranty. Yeah. Um, that includes the coverage for, for burning as well. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys, uh, from my side. Uh, I see some questions about pricing. Uh, as of now, the MSRP in Europe, including tax, is uh, 1499 um, But yeah, this might it's it's a launch price. So uh, we saw the Samsung monitor, for example, also launch with this price, or the Alienware. I'm not sure. One of the two. I think the Samsung one. Um, yeah. And yeah, it it went down fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, who knows? Depending on stock and demand, uh, price will go up or down. Um, yeah. Dem uh, depending on tax as well. Like depending think, on your region. I think yeah, this yes. is like 20% tax, but in some regions it's a little bit higher, other regions it's a bit lower. So it depends per per country as yeah. well. Just check out your local tech store or your price comparison websites that you have locally, yeah. and uh, just keep an eye on that, and uh, yeah, you'll know the price. So I think uh, I think we're ready uh, to introduce our uh, our guest soon. Let's see if she is still here. And I'm let's wrong. first put your monitor. In the uh, correct yeah, let's position. Let's put my monitor in the right direction first. One second. Then I can go back to my usual full-size <laughs> position. <laughs> uh, you wanted it here, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. So I can get rid of this. Whoopa. Yeah. So uh, we have a very cool game today, uh, uh, which is Crime Boss, and uh, we invited a special guest for this. We'll introduce her in a second. Um, but yeah, very excited to play games on this. Uh, See, on specific this question monitor. in Twitch chat: Are dead pixels and OLED monitors covered under the same monitor warranty by NSI or is a special policy? Do you know the answer to that one? What's I that? honestly Sorry? don't. Are dead pixels and OLED monitors covered under the same monitor warranty by MSI or is there a special policy? Ooh, that's a very good question. I am not 100% sure on yeah. that. So I and I'm also not sure if this is the same in every region. Yeah. Uh, this might differ per region, uh, so I can't really answer that question right now, but there should be uh, more information about that online, on the website or maybe the user manual of the, uh, that you can download on our website uh, about specific bur pixel burn-in rates and stuff like that, um, or pi that pixel issues. Uh, yeah, not 100% I would sure also that. probably ask your specific local reseller. Yes. They should also be able to provide you info on that for your specific region. Uh, get rid of my coffee here. So, whoop -a. And I'm big again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big boy. Make sure to don't drop it here. Can you still see uh, Yeah, the rest? Should be fine. Can right. I get my rock back? Oh, hmm? I make myself small again, otherwise it looks a bit awkward. Can I get my rock back? Your what? My rock. Your rock? Oh. <laughs> Your MSI rock. Like Rocky. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Yes. Behind yeah, you? yeah. No, further. Further. Yes, perfect. No, you had it in a perfect position. Oh. <laughs> there, yeah. There? No, further. Further. Yes, perfect. Okay. There we go. You just want to see the logo, don't you? Of course. <laughs> Very nice. Michiel is educated very well, <laughs> indoctrinated by our MSI uh, bosses, overlords. <laughs> uh, let me just 
move this PC because my cables are a little bit short. I should have prepared for that, Ralph. Yes, I know. But Eric well, was here disabling everything. You should have prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Eric's fault. <clears throat> That's true. What kind of system are you running, actually? I am using the uh, Aegis, actually, uh -huh. which is... Um, Aegis TI5? Yes, sir. With a 3080 in this case, actually. Okay. So it should be more than plenty for the next game. Which it is, because I already tested it, obviously. But yeah. Um, <laughs> I already see questions in the chat. <laughs> Where can you get such an MSI stone? I don't think you can. <laughs> Ooh, well, that's a good question. We, I think these are from the past, right? Yeah, they're quite old. They used to be a special gift, I think, to uh, some of our partners that sell, yeah. sell our stuff and also influencers and stuff like that. Uh, it's just a, a thank you gift to them, I think. But I think we're fresh out. I'm really sorry about that. But we do have another giveaway, Michiel, right? Yes. We do. <laughs> okay. It's a very so good hint. So if you haven't participated yet, go to msi.com slash two slash insider. If you're watching on YouTube or Twitch, you can also follow uh, the direct link to Gleam that our bot will put uh, in the chat once every five minutes. Um, in Gleam, you can perform certain actions. The more actions you perform, the bigger chance you will have to win. And also, if you're a returning visitor, make sure to claim your loyalty bonus as well, uh, because that will give you a slight edge in the giveaway. Um, and our next winner of a Steam wallet code... Oh, Ralph, you can pronounce this one. Good luck. Wait, <laughs> what? Wait, I'll make it bigger for you it, with your it, old... Uh, what did you say? Ipan... Ip, uh. <laughs> Ipan... 2002. Congratulations. Congratulations. You also won a Steam wallet code. <laughs> Sorry for uh, butchering your name. Sorry for or butchering Ralph, your name. Ralph did, but, <laughs> but still, you won a game code, so please keep an eye on your mailbox, then we'll email it to you in the coming days with some instructions on how to redeem it. Congratulations. Congrats. Is this good so, uh, like this, uh, Michiel? Is uh, this I think this works. Yeah? Yeah. Alrighty. Does it still capture? Let me quickly check. Yeah, this is, this is quite okay, right? Awesome. Okay. Yeah. But you're not going to play this game alone, right? No, we have a special guest. Uh, and uh, let's see if she's still here. Fran, are you still here? Oh, oh, e let me see if this works. Well, we can see her, but we can't hear her. Hello, Fran. Welcome, welcome. Hey. Hi, Hi Fran. <laughs> yes, it works. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, she's here. So, Fran, no, you're on I'm screen. Thank you for joining us. Fran is uh, the community manager for uh, 505 Games, guys. Um, yeah, please uh, tell us a little bit about what you do uh, within, uh, or for Crime Boss specifically. Yeah, so um, like you just said, I'm the community manager for Crime Boss, and um, I'm the person who writes all those witty tweets and TikToks you will see. Um, <laughs> So, I also um, look after all the community channels. I um, create a lot of content for the social channels as well. Um, yeah, you know, if it's anything related to social media and community, then, then I probably dabbled in it. So, right. um, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And I you see. guys are going to play together today, right? Yeah, that's that's the plan. Um, I uh, yeah, I I, I won't. I'll, I'll play really badly, so you look really good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Usually, okay. he always gets trashed in every video game here at the office, so yeah. <laughs> he'll be happy about that. We trash <laughs> each other already more than enough. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, yeah, actually, let's just jump into the game, guys. It's a very cool game. Crumble's very new. Uh, it's it's launched a couple of days ago. Uh, I don't know the specific date, actually, by the top of my head. Do you know it, Fran? Yes. I, I mean, I should do. <laughs> I'd be worried <laughs> if I didn't. Um, yeah. It was. It came out on the twenty eighth of March um, on oh, on Epic Store, um, so you can buy it now. Um, nice. Yeah. It's only and, uh, only available on Epic Store. Yes, Excellent. it's yeah. available at Epic Store. It's coming soon to uh, Xbox Series X and S and PS5. 
Um, so yeah, coming soon to consoles. Very nice. Oh, that's a cool addition. Yeah, we also have monitors for that, guys, for consoles. So, you know, hint, hint. Um, yeah, so let's that's let's cool. just uh, let's just play a game. What is the, uh, the there's different game modes in this game. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the the story? Because I haven't haven't actually played this game yet. Uh, it's it's totally new for me. It sounds uh, very uh, very crimey, very bossy. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean that that is two good words to describe the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to uh, put myself in the game as well, actually. Uh, so yeah, Crime Boss Rocket City is basically uh, an organised crime game. Mm -hmm. um, it sort of combines first-person shooter action and also there's um, it's kind of a bit strategy in there as well because you get to plan out sort of where you want to go across the the Crime Boss map. Okay. Um, there's turf wars in there as well um and this you can uh th this you play as travis baker and who is michael madsen so um and you're basically this is this is in the single player and you his his main goal is to become the king of rocket city so okay. in the single player that's that's what you've got to do right um, okay so that there's two other modes there's crime time and then there's urban legends and they are um they are also playable alone or in co-op and you can play four player co-op so um crime time is basically short snappy uh go in go out uh pick areas on the map and you can do different types of uh different types of tasks so there right. could be um I don't know a, a, a jewelry heist mission, or you know that kind, uh, or a, a robbery, those kind of things. Um, Urban Legends is a uh, small story, sort of, and it's told through little cutscenes. But there are consecutive missions that need to be completed, one after another. Awesome. Um, so we've got five forty, about forty-five minutes to burn. Uh, what would be the best game mode for this? Uh, I think we could probably pop in and out of the quick, the quick missions. Um, so the urban legends part. Or so is it? yeah, urban urban legends would be like three missions all in a row. If we fail them, we have to go back to the start. I mean, <laughs> uh, what's the worst that could happen, right? So. <laughs> well, we could fail, but yeah, <laughs> we could be yeah, here for for a couple of days. But, but then uh, that's not a bad thing with Crime Boss because, uh, you know, the, the, the single player actually almost promotes failing. Really? So, okay. well, it's got a bit of a roguelike essence to it. Mm -hmm. So if you take Baker into the game uh, and he dies, then you have to start again. Um, but you get certain perks when you go back into the game. Oh, so right. it's almost oh, cool. like, yeah, so there's there's roguelike elements into it. Right. Um, so that's so also where, sorry, go on. Yeah, so if you lose your single player mission or if you don't make it, you get to do the mission, the same mission again with new perks or is it a different mission with perks? Uh, and that's another interesting element about the game. <laughs> Sometimes you may not see the same things twice. Right. So there are you know there's a lot of interesting things about crime boss and um it, but it's one of those things where i almost don't want to spoil too much because people okay. really should explore the game yeah let's do it so, yeah let's let's get into it are you uh, launched by now yes yes i am okay it's probably best you invite me then because you know how it works <laughs> did you did you accept my invite oh i did not but i can join on you uh. there you go yeah <laughs> I was listening to you talk, so uh, yeah. Uh, See, I can't multitask. <laughs> well, yes, I can a little bit, but uh, let's see how good we do. Is there a lot of multitasking in this game as well? Uh, multitasking. Well, I mean, depending on I guess what the mission is, 
uh, depends on what we're, I guess, we're doing, uh, what we're collecting, what the mission is. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't spoil too much. <laughs> Uh, let me see. So, oh, okay. Um, I am called Masar. You've already had the pleasure. Have you added yourself, or have I just completely you, skipped you? All right, enough grab ass. What? What's Stand that? Sorry. Oh, you're in. You're in. I see you. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. I'm going to see the dialogue now. I'm going to select one of my, biggest, one of my favorites. Um, fucking commies. Teammates. So All right. Found. In heaven. Uh, oh, you, so you can tw you can switch uh, characters during the missions or down. only before? Uh, before the missions, we're gone. you can select your loadout. Nice. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. All right, it's awesome. So, hmm, you're choosing Vamp. Should I go with the shotgun or? I mean, it depends. How, how do you like to play? I mean, well, this guy looks the most like me, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll go with that one. A, sh a shiny head. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I can see there's also uh, grenades. Let's do it. No other weapons. Primary. All good. All right. Oh, I can choose a brick. <laughs> uh, well, who who doesn't love uh, a good old a brick. faithful a faithful brick to take into battle? Exactly. Let's, let's do that. Awesome. <laughs> so do I? Oh, I'll confirm. There you go. Hit on the repair shop. New blood. So now I have to prove myself to uh, to the, to the boss. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Oh, I have to ready up, sorry. So this is, like you say, we're proving ourselves uh, to Touchdown, I believe, who uh, works for Travis Baker. He's actually Travis Baker's friend. Awesome. Let's see if I can still shoot a little bit. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's you. Hello. Yep. Hello. Is there emotes? I see you. Oh, so <laughs> sorry. Would you just, I just throw a grenade at I me? I just threw a brick at your head. Oh, is it a, the brick? Can I pick oh, it well. back up? At least oh, it was not. just a brick. There's your brick. Keep your eyes on the ground and your mouths shut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's uh, my rudest first encounter uh, I think I've had in game ever. Um, oh, you can't hit each other. Oh, we detected. Uh -oh. That was probably my fault, but there you go. <laughs> so, oh, there you go. You can start shooting, I guess. I, I kind of regret doing that, actually. I was doing it for the views. For the views? <laughs> for the memes. For the memes, yeah. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. I'm crouching. I'm trying oh, yeah. to not die. How many shots does it take to kill someone? Um... Oh. Depends if you hit them or not. The headshot thing is satisfying. Clear. Yes. I'm too far away, I think. Oh no. Alright, so there you can revive people. I'm just gonna let you know that. Okay. Do you need <laughs> reviving? No. Oh, oh there's two cars it's, incoming. It's more of a it's more of an FYI. Hello guys. Welcome. <laughs> oh. Wait, is this a good time to throw a brick at someone's head? Oh, it could be, yeah. Hold on, let me check. Remember, you picked your trusty brick, it's now your forever friend. Do I still have it, though? I, no, I don't have it. <laughs> Actually, I, don't. I forgot my brick. Well, just, we'll get you a new brick, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do that. That's my mission for today. Kill someone with a brick. We'll get you a better brick. A better one? Oh, okay. That sounds uh, like a plan. Well, you oh. know, that one was... That one seemed to have a chip out of it. Officers are approaching oh. location. There you go. Oh, on the left. Oh. Yeah, got him. Oh, 
Aussies Rusty's got themselves a cash truck. Right. So, right, slides. Nice. Oh, oh, there's a lot of people in here. Yeah, there is. <laughs> oh, and a cop. So we're fighting criminals and cops now? Just well, because you shot, think... shot fired shots on the street? I may have also done some further damage than that. Oh, Alright, so we can steal the loot. Oh yeah, the mission. <laughs> I was just having yeah, fun that's, shooting people. That's why we were here. Um, <laughs> Alright. Um, so, there are, there are some loots. Um, Place drills. No Let me place Steel the drill. Steal plans from the safe. Steal loot. Right. I have money here. Oh, excellent. Are you interested in money yeah. at all? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Of course. Who wouldn't be interested in money? Okay, two bags of cash. I can't pick up any more. Do right, I have to do anything go. with this drill or does it, does it just go? Uh, ah. That might be the. That's probably where the plans for the safe is. Um, we need to accelerate the drill speed. Right. Look, let's take. We can take the, uh, the cash. route back to the. Wow. Right. Careful. Okay, let's do that first. Uh, to the. To the um, the van. So I think I've got a bag as well. Awesome. We, we oh, you also found can... some cash. Nice. Ugh. I'm getting shot Ooh. at. Cheeky scamps. Did we already throw a bag? Oh, hang on. I don't, I don't have enough for a bag, clearly. <laughs> Someone get into the front seat. That's 20k. There you go. <laughs> the recoil is actually quite good. It's not that easy to hit someone from range, actually. Or I'm just really bad, but... You have a shotgun. No, no, no. Actually, I have a, some kind of SMG, some AK kind of. Beware, incoming right. specialist vehicle. Oh Move no! Quickly. Increase the drill speed. Right. Okay. I'm gonna sort out the drill. I would press that you don't. I love how when you the reload. Oh, it does specialist. actually change it. I tried to reload when it was full in a, in a bit just a second ago, and it actually didn't let me. Or it didn't actually reload, it just said, hey, you still have a full clip, and it just put, put it back in. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm dying. Hold on, let me find some cover, because this is... Oh, I have a brick now. I told ah. you you would find a new brick. I missed. Right, I've sorted the drill thing out now. Counter -attack. I want my so brick back. Take all the riders' stuff. So we can... All the rider stuff. Oh, careful. Oh. Behind us oh. as well. Oh. Yep. Oh no. So bullets don't seem to be in short supply here. That's pretty nice. You have a window. Get it done. I think uh, we need to do something inside here, no? Um, Did you already do it? Oh, there's more cash. <laughs> I just found more cash, that's it. Alright. Yeah, I think it's just now grab grab the bits. The bits? Which ones? All the rider stuff. Yeah, they'll... I think they're the, littered no. around in the... From the oh yeah, there you go. You oh. Found some. Ow. oh! 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 <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Did you just shoot the barrel here? I don't think it was me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the revive. Shields on approach. <laughs> uh, can I hit someone somehow? Uh, a melee button. Careful, there's a lot of people there. There's a SWAT team coming in the back. Oh, so there is. Cheeky little scamps. <laughs> I can't find my brick anymore, unfortunately. 
I know what to get you for your birthday. A brick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm dying, no! Okay, I'm good. I've saved you. Oh, that was, I have one HP, oh my god. Oh, really? Oh, behind us as well. Time to push back. Time to push back, uh. okay. Oh, sorry about that. I can apparently hit you. Oh, I made something explode. You have a very strong hand, sir. Kill the shield. Can I grab the shield? No, I can't. You have a brick. Finish up. You have a brick. There we go Just now. having a look around to see if there's anything. Oh, here we go. Some bits. Oh, I, that's okay. I, so it's like so small stuff. I'm gonna go and and take this back to the van. I'll try to cover you. There's all these coming at you. SWAT teams coming in again. <laughs> run, run, run! I'm too heavy, too many bags. There you go. Ah, oh, there's people everywhere. We need to find cover. I think that's it. Oh! Yeah, very this close to our car. A barrel rolling at me. Oh, he's throwing a grenade. I'm down. No. I'm too reckless. <laughs> oh no. A shield's coming in even. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, what? We did so well and then failed so miserably. Are you down as well? Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, there was a bunch of people here. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. That's just made your really good stream turn a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. I don't mind. Two heisters died. Uh, objective failed. Uh, all right. So we had a bunch of stuff left to do, looks like. Main objective failed, clean execution. Oh, okay, that's the objectives. To all be right. fair, we did quite well. We didn't have any bots turned on, so, you know. Oh, yeah, right. Normally you do it with four. Well, you can do. I mean, yeah, why not? You could do these missions with one person. You could do it on your own, so... Um, I imagine it's more difficult. Is it the same amount of bots with the other enemy bots that you also get? That's not. That's something I'm not sure on, but... Uh, I've played it with four people and that's also challenging, so... Right, okay. yeah. um, but I think we did very well, we just didn't make it... Up? At the end, we were pretty much at the end. Oh really? If we'd, got, if we'd, if oh, we'd no. have just got, if we'd have just got in the van, we could have just finished. Really? <laughs> okay. Well, let's do that again then. We, now we know what to do. So it should be a short one. I like the idea of a nightly setting, says Divina in the chat. That's very cool. Yeah, I think the night is, 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 is quite an, oh, is quite an iconic. From a aesthetic sense, right? Um, is quite iconic. You know, it's very much um, got a very uh, vibrant style. It's you know, everyone sort of knows it for being bright and colourful, and I mean. Especially the Florida mm -hmm. setting. I mean, it's 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 glamorous. It's palm trees. It's um, it it's 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 the perfect setting. You know, it's um, it's got the neons. It's got it's just got appeal. You know, yeah. um, and that's I think why this game is also. <laughs> You know, oh, yeah, it's right cool. That's fine. We both took a shotgun this time around. <clears throat> oh, did we? Yep. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was getting too busy sort of talking about the 90s. <laughs> um, but the good thing about Crime Boss is you, you know, it. It's it's level based, it's and you can pick baby. the areas on the map Let's where you want to go. Right. 
Okay, let's, let's area. Start, start shooting this time, shall we? Yeah, all right, we're going a, bit more, a little bit more strategically. Um, but you can go into different areas of the city, and each city is, you know, the beach or the downtown, um, like with skyscrapers, or um, you've got... It's very Miami. Uh, <laughs> Miami it, vibes. It's, 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 it's South Florida, you know? It's... Yeah. That's pretty cool. So these people are dangerous here, or can I just walk by them? Because I'm technically not doing anything wrong right now. I mean, yeah, you could walk. Hello, past sir. Them. How are you? Eventually, they if if they find you suspicious. He's a rider. Luke Sorry. Ben. Oh, that's all right. I'll just grab my shotgun and shoot him in the face. <laughs> Hello. Hello, guys. I just... I'm going to the other side. I'm trying to go through the back. The authorities will Let's see if that's possible. Yeah, now. please. Pick up the pace. Oh no, that's a person. Sorry, I, I was. I, you might have to revive me. Oh, the yeah, shotgun is very I, satisfying. <laughs> Since people come and flying. Get me? Huh? Could you come and revive me? I was. I walked up to a person because I thought it was a, a person to kill, but then I actually I realized it. Oh, I'm, you, you didn't get me in time. Um, <laughs> and then I realized it was a, a civilian, so I stopped and then I got shot in the back. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, I'm a moron. I just ran through everyone. <laughs> A damsel in distress. Can you revive oh. me? I just ran through all the, all the cards. I mean, I do appreciate you sacrificing yourself. Yes, it's a noble cause. <laughs> but this is why this game's so fun, right? Because it's just like <laughs> random stuff like this. Yeah. Random stuff. I don't like even mind it's actually starting over now because it, we weren't that far in. So yeah. Yeah. If it's short stories like this, it's actually okay to start over. Yeah. I am Goldman Sachs. You've already had the pleasure of meeting us. I think I'm That's gonna make down to you, not freshman. the mistake again right, and actually and not have the shotgun because I'm not the biggest fan straight. of up close and personal, to be fair. <laughs> right, so I'll take the shotgun and then you can take the... Uh, Master Doc yeah. saying, shotgun isn't it. <laughs> well, I liked it. So here's the play. Shotgun always reminds me of uh, the old Soldier, Soldier of Fortune days. I don't know if you remember that game, but... Uh, that, that, that was very cool. We're gone. Any questions? Fuck questions, man. Hit the field. Perform well here, and there is room for advancement. Leon on Facebook is asking, when can I get this monitor in the US? Well, um, that really depends on, on your resellers and how much stock there is. I currently have no information about that, but uh, yeah, please, uh, please keep an eye on the reseller pages. It's game time, baby. Let's shut these bitches down. Hachiko, are you trying to join us? in the game or where do you want us to accept you? I haven't seen anyone add me on the, on this one. Are you... What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we crouching? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Oh, I, I just walked the red light. I hope the police are not going to shoot at me. So I I actually thought we did quite a good. We actually did better when we did go in guns blazing. Last yeah, time. that's uh, surprisingly. Actually, I'm I'm going to use the same tactic and go around back. Go around the back. I, I, I was just like going to use the same tactic and just go guns shoot blazing. Everyone. Right. Okay, that works. Let me do that. Where I mean, you are then? Like Hi. I'm I'm not necessarily right. Every about everything but like i just felt like we did so much better yeah i need to get get up close though because i have a shotgun now but yeah there you go oh it's a different shotgun actually oh hello I sir great. how's your day <laughs> i'll get their attention yeah for sure <laughs> i, I mean i mean i hope it does That's you. <laughs> uh, wrong way. Jesus, how how often can you miss? 
Oh, they blew, they blew me up. I it's wasn't impressed by that. <laughs> oh, I have throwing stars as well. Oh, okay, they're not pretty yet. Yeah. Okay, I might die. <laughs> yeah, well, so am I, because they threw a grenade at me. So. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I that's my fault. I thought gathering guns blazing was going to work. Yeah, I need more range on my guns, I think. Might do a little bit better right. than the shotguns. Okay, let's try that again. One last time. Uh, so I have to ready up first. Okay. All right, so we'll both get this. guns that we like. Uh, which, which that? Oh, I had this guy before. That worked. Confirm. Operate as a crew. Wait, do I still have my brick? No, <laughs> no it's fine. So get your, the most important things in your loadout. <laughs> Never know when that brick might come in handy. Exactly. When you're standing there with an empty clip and you're just like, oh, let's throw a brick instead. Right. Is it a fast-paced shooter? Uh, well, it depends. I am running around guns blazing, but it's not really working as you can see, so I wouldn't say that. I guess it depends who's playing, right? <laughs> yeah. I think this is one of those games that you can just choose to take a slow or, you know, stand behind yeah. the wall, wait for the guys to come around. <laughs> Stuff like that. I mean, there's definitely some levels where it can get time, pretty baby. heated. Let's um, shut these bitches down. You can play it, you know, you can go in like like we've tried to <laughs> with yeah. guns blazing or you can play it very stealthily um there are different ways of playing it um hold on there's a question in the chat uh so i've been trying to get information about this for a while now regarding that usb c d display alt port on the monitor one of the biggest selling points of it over the competitor models anyone know if i can use the power uh use it to power the tablet like the wacom uh Cintiq pro using just one USB-C cable from the monitor to the tablet. I'm guessing as long as I connect the data cable from the back to the monitor to the PC as well. Um, that depends on how much power, the power your Wacom tablet uses, but the power delivery on this port is up to 65 watts. So it's enough to power a notebook. So I would say if your uh, Wacom tablet supports it, um, I think that should be possible. <coughs> but yeah, again, check your uh, check your tablet specs for that as well. All right, let's uh, let's start shooting then. I guess. Are you going? Let's let's find some cover first, actually. Oh yeah. I, I think uh, the first time around we had kind of like a crossfire going. So you were on the other side of the street, so I could cover you. You could cover me a little bit. You know. All right. Well, I'll go over here then. Sounds like a plan, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a plan of some sort. Let's go over here. Oh, I just stint myself shut. somehow. Alright. So I can intimidate people as well. I'm just trying out all my buttons. G does nothing. I can put my weapon away. So, Q, I think. Uh, oh. No, sorry. Q is grenade. R. Uh, or ability, yeah. Yeah, Whatever you've got you your, have. you've got your weapons for one and two. Um, I, I might lob a grenade, just run in there and throw it. <laughs> Why not? Go for it. There's a guy on your left though. Just uh, heads up. Is he uh, not a, a civilian? I don't know. Yeah. He seems very tough for a civilian. He, he, has, he has like the, the pimp limp, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this... I thought, <laughs> let's just let's just go because, you know what, I'm sure uh, people are enjoying us watching civilians walk past. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go, go ahead on your uh, grenades, I guess. All right, all right, there you go. Definitely detected now. Ah, there's the guys on the top as well. Be on their way now. Pick up the pace. That guy is a civilian. That guy isn't. Clearly. Oh. 
Oh, that's civilian. Never mind. So do you get like punishment if you kill civilians uh, by accident, or? So, in the well, in this single player especially as well, Sheriff Norris is after you, mm -hmm. played by uh, cheeky Chuck Norris. Uh, so when they're coming after you, you'll attract the police essentially more. Crash. Okay. Um, so you don't really want to take out the civilians if possible. So that's why the cops were shooting at us before. I might have taken out a couple of civilians. Accidentally, of course, not on purpose. Oh, who did that? <laughs> I, I saw you die. <laughs> Was it a good death? Yeah, it looks like very explosive. Yeah, so, I, I saw the explosions. Will I still be able to revive you now, or, or not? Yeah, I'm, I'm still alive. I'm trying yeah. to come towards you. Come. I'm coming for you. Oh, I, I'm bleeding. The... I'm just standing here, getting shot at. That's fine, I'm up. I'm, I'm up. Oh, I nearly got run over. Almost, yeah. Oh, damn. Another damn grenade. <laughs> Why is it with... What is it with grenades? And yeah, they don't seem to like you very much. Oh, they don't. Up, are you? Oh, here's some gold juice. Like, that's uh, taken out by like oh, two grenades. Oh, that's police grenades. coming in. So we might have shot some civilians then. Oh dear, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside. I'm inside okay. now. Okay, I'll uh, stop these police. The Steal the and loot, gonna... place the drill, so we can drill in the meantime. Oh, he's not dead. Never mind. There's no, actually, there's no bags of cash this time around. It's just drugs. Or something. Uh, I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna... Pick oh, up there's. The... Yeah, there is. Never mind. <laughs> I'm carrying they so much stuff. Push them back now. Status. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I'm quite full. Down. Yeah, so you'll have to go back to the van. You are clear for now. Okay, Keep I'm going. going around the back. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? A little Good alleyway here there. that might Everyone give me some cover. It's like capture the flag now. Everybody down, now. Get back to the van. Get down. <laughs> All right, so you've got the drill going. Okay. Yeah. So, do we need to actively work the drill to open the safe, or? Yeah, I'm in there as well, so I can do that. All right, awesome. I'm throwing uh, the bags of cash in the back. All right, got half the loads. Oh. I'm coming back. I'll, um, I'm just protecting the drill from cheeky. The cheeky officers who are oh, working right. their way in. So they, c they can take their drills off? Well, they're just... They're coming in here, so... Um, and I just happen to be in here. <laughs> I'll grab the rest of the loot. Should be here in the back. More quickly, increase the drill speed. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's Drilling finished. finished. <laughs> okay, I can grab the loot from here. Be aware. Oh, oh no, you will not. People are comparing it with uh, with GTA a little bit. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Not, not a bad comparison. Not bad at all. Oh, actually, no. well, there you are. Okay. Uh, so we want to really finish this level. So we should try and get to the van. All right. Let's do it. Oh no! <laughs> this guy just ran into you. I know. Do not risk taking fire. Oh gosh. Oh. oh no. Hello guys. Cheerio. Oh, more on the left. Counter attack. Oh, they're on the left oh. side. Oh, I'm behind us a little bit. Oh, the bags make you the bags make you slower. It, they do really do. Oh no. <laughs> Are you alright? You're getting shot at. Uh, 
Not yet. <laughs> I'm drawing all the fire. It's very kind of Proceed you. Proceed with caution. You have a break in combat. Ah, see. Specialist oh, jump someone version. behind me? I guess so. Do we really need to like kill everyone or? What's the, uh, uh, no. It's always. You can just get to the. You can just get to the van. We'll be good. Back from our green. Might. And then. I think you have the last stuff. Uh huh. And someone tried to throw a grenade. The yeah, last, I saw that. The last, the last, last grenade. You have SWAT incoming from the roof. SWAT from the roof. Oh gosh. I see. We have packed everyone in. <gasps> Might have and done it. And an There we go. Yay, victory! I mean, I don't know how well we did that mission, but we didn't fail it. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine this being quite fun with like a bunch of people. Like a group yeah. of four. Definitely. Uh, me and um, three other people from 505, we stream it with four. There's four of us, so. Yeah. Um, it's very fun with four people. Oh, we failed an optional objective. Okay. That Come. might have been the one where we don't. The aware thing. Oh, don't raise the alarm. Yeah, there we That's go. That's the one. <laughs> and so, zero civilians killed. How many did you kill, friend? Can you see? If you scroll uh, to the bottom. Uh. So, oh, I didn't kill anyone either. So. Huh. Right. So why so the police I did, then? <laughs> I think they just turn up because we've raised the uh raised the alarm so right and we're shooting up the whole city pretty much so that yeah, makes sense we we caused disturbance yeah so so yeah this is urban legend so you know essentially you then play the next mission you're kind of trying to prove yourself to baker's uh advisors which is touchdown and nasara Right, um, okay. And then you work your way up. And I guess the missions become more stealth and stuff like that as well. And hey, you guys did yeah, there's all different types. Like, like, there's later on, you have to go in and like, well, do all different things and do different tasks. So, um, right. Oh, that's very cool. I think we don't have time for the next one anymore, I don't think. Oh, 10 minutes. Do you think we can do one in 10 minutes? I mean, it's it's worth a go. Right. <laughs> let's let's go for it. I'll I'll pick the same guy. This went pretty well. I mean, we may not finish it. <laughs> we may not complete it, but we might at least get one go out of it. Well, the aura will die trying. Everybody That's right. To be a big shot, exactly. But to get to the top, you gotta earn. You know what I'm saying? So listen up. Here's the shot. Ram the armor back. Get inside. Gather the loot and escape. You better not the fuck up, freshman. Hmm? You ain't exactly wowing us yet. Language, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Cheeky scamps with their uh, yeah, cheeky language. Yeah, I'm trying to language. prove myself. You don't have to be so uh, such an asshole about it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, let's pop this piggy bank, baby. You want to be the best. You gotta be coached by the goddamn best. I do like how you're pro progressing through a story yeah, and you nice. have to like prove yourself and you know stuff like that. Oh. The will exactly. be we're instantly stuck Pick with the cops. And you're Come dead. Come your That's not a good start. Well. Is this where we like supposed to run or? No, I, I probably should have just paid more attention. <laughs> Right, okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> a bigger fish. So you mentioned now we should get perks, or is that when you fill all three or something? Uh, so that's in the single player. Oh, that's mode. a single player, right, okay. So, so yeah, the, the single player has um, rogue like elements. Right. Um, so. That's coach touchdown to you. Basically, All right, enough grab you can ass. play Stand up straight. Uh, a single player a by taking um, your teammates to do the missions. Uh, you can get unique sort of teammates. And so here's the for example, uh, heavy, huh? 
Tam a chase o There's options to take Baker in the missions as well. The thing is with Baker, he's the he's because he's like the leader, head honcho, whatever you want to call him. Mm -hmm. um, if he dies, then that's the game over, right? Um, I guess if you think about like teammates or your crew, it's somewhat ex not expendable, but like you can hire more team. You can't hire another Baker, right? right. Okay. So <clears throat> essentially once Baker's dead that's the game over but it's you get then perks mm -hmm. after that so okay that's that's cool so your un unique way of doing it yeah well, it's, it's nice it's different and then when you go back into the game uh, you may not see things the same as you saw before so yeah right you can fault when you're near a suitable obstacle, just press the space bar, okay. Tool tips in the loading screens, love it. It's game time, baby. Oh, Let's shut these we down. have to start all over again now. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have to do the first mission again. So, yeah. Um, That's sad. Well, I mean, we don't. How about if we leave it on a high and say, look, <laughs> um, we, could, I mean, we could try this one again. Uh, I'm just going to punch someone, see what it does. So I go in and throw a grenade? Yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, so essentially with these levels, you have to go in and finish them all in a row. That's, that's, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. So it's actually a mission, and you can fail it. Oh, I died. Yeah, that's fine, I died too. <laughs> I think we're out of time as, well, as it is anyway. We still have to do like a giveaway and stuff, and uh, yeah. All right, so um, yeah. Um, thanks a bunch, Fran. Um, thank you for uh, playing with us and coming to introduce the game a little bit. Uh, I have enjoyed very much dying on stream with you. Um, <laughs> absolute pleasure. Yeah, we didn't do too well, did we? Oh, uh, well, I mean, you know, that's again, like I said, it's all about uh, winning and losing in this game. So yeah, that's the gangster life. <laughs> I very much enjoyed you guys dying in the game. <laughs> Thank you so much. I enjoyed showing, you know, I don't know how many people was on stream because I couldn't see the actual stream, but I hope everyone enjoyed us dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Literally, literally dying, you know, like, you know, when a comedian dies on stage, it's like that as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Fran. And uh, yeah, good luck in uh, in the future and uh, with future launches. And uh, yeah, well, maybe we'll see each other in game sometime. Yeah, maybe. I, mean, All right. I, ho I bet you hope you won't. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> I prefer having fun over skill, to be honest. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, so do yeah. I. <laughs> so I always like uh, when uh, when there's a good uh, some good banter and stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna close you off and uh, and send you off. <laughs> <laughs> so have a nice uh, nice day of work. Have a nice evening. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks for joining. Thank you. Thank bye. you, friend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So stream, I hope you like uh, liked seeing us dying. Uh, Did you enjoy the game, Ralph? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I can see this being a lot of fun with, with like a full party and stuff. And then one has to do the drill, and the other one has to like stay watch, and the other two are like carrying the goods. You know, uh, I think teamwork can be really important in here. That's we have a good idea. Giveaway. Shall we do two more winners? Uh, well, how many did we pull? F oh yeah, let's do two more. Yeah. I think we can do that. Ah, th this one you can pronounce, right? I can, yes. Uh, so the next winner is Y Red Panda. Congratulations, you also won a Steam Awala code. And then congrats, let's congrats. do another winner. And another one. <coughs> another one. 
There we go. Apex Burn. Congratulations, Congratulations Apex as well. Burn. You will yep. receive your stuff in the email uh, somewhere next week. Somewhere next week. Are you that slow with sending out? Oh, them? we're busy. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, I hope hopefully uh, this or next week, uh, depending on uh, how much time we have. But uh, yeah, we'll try to do this at f as fast as possible. And, and I then think, Ralph. Uh, yeah. Explain everything about what will happen next week in this stream. Um, okay. Next week, we will announce something or show something that is to be announced. <laughs> With other words, we cannot <laughs> talk about this yet. <laughs> and usually, if we say that, it's going to be good. <laughs> yes. Well, those are the best, like, if you see to be announced in the stream, those are the best streams usually. Yeah, so. those are the streams you want to be at. Exactly. So make sure to be here next week, same place, same time. Hopefully then without the technical difficulties. We'll try to be live exactly at the correct time now. And then the correct Instead length. of 10 minutes yeah. late or <laughs> 50 minutes late or how late were we? So before we, we announced the announcement for an announcement. It's like an announceception. Yes, <laughs> very good. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining today. And hopefully uh, see you again at the To Be Announced stream. <laughs> <laughs> see you again thank next you. week, guys. And goodbye. Bye-bye.